<laughs> Hi guys, I included that shot of me just enjoying my hair um, Today was like, I feel like personally my regal hair day Like I don't know why, I just, I'm just in love with this purple This was like a very deep purple color and how it's been fading um, So yeah, I'm very happy about that So I decided I gotta make a, I gotta make a home tour today uh, Because it's like now or never this week, right? So um Yes, uh, today is Saturday in Korea. I had like super busy day, which was very nice in a way because it's been like kind of slow the last two business days. Obviously, I was out of town yesterday. Um, yesterday was my last day of teaching at a university, so that was very bittersweet, but mostly just beautiful and happy memories. I'll probably include a video clip, a clip at the end of this video. And today was incredible too, so yeah, I'm very, very happy today. Um, I actually did dust up my place a little bit. I folded my blankets, and I'll give you guys my minimalist home tour. We'll start off seamlessly just like this. So, in the in my main living area, it looks much bigger this way, but there's really nothing. There's uh, my laundry rack. Um, there's my hair tools, because uh, I gotta go out tomorrow for lunch. So I'm gonna style my hair a little bit tomorrow. And over here is my table. And we will slowly get up so you can see my bed better. Uh, so I don't have to flip the camera, but there's my bed. And we will move over here in my fridge area. This is an interesting perspective because I don't think you guys can see things from this point of view. Uh, but over here, obviously, just all my dirty stuff. Um, laundry that I didn't fold, I just threw everything on there because as you know, um, last minute cleaning. <laughs> I just didn't have time this week. Uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous items. I got some new socks as like a service because um, I bought some nice dress pants. Uh, mostly because one of my favorite pants that are like super light uh, and black and bohemian looking for summer, it was getting like lint, so it was getting like, it was disintegrating. So I was like, I want kind of um, like dressy, presentable pants that are um, not falling apart. Um, uh, one rule that I have is like, I don't have to look flashy, but I don't want to look like I'm falling apart. So that's that's a look that I'm not trying to go for. Uh, so yeah, I figured it's about time I have to declutter some pants and then invite new pants. Ooh, you've never seen it from this point of view. This is exciting, see? When I'm happy with my hair, good things happen. <laughs> um, down here you can see my shampoo. Uh, it doesn't have a conditioner. I actually ran out of my conditioner, so I'm kind of happy about that because that conditioner was a little bit bulky. So I guess anytime I declutter any kind of bulky item, I feel pretty happy. I don't know why. It's like a visual thing. I feel less claustrophobic and, or something. Uh, but I do have this like a small sample hair clinic that some salesmen brought to my salon. I want to give it a try, but it's too expensive, so I'm probably not going to use their line. But I kind of want to try it on my own hair. Maybe it'll be the most glorious hair clinic that I've ever used. In that case, maybe I'll um, buy that product. But yeah, it's like, it's too expensive. Here it's my cute little soap that my friend made and gave to me. I have the sweetest friends. Uh, and I've been definitely using that. And if you saw my last week's video, you know that the, the scrubber's new. It's for scrubbing the top surfaces. Got a new razor because my other razor I've had it for way too long, <laughs> shamefully. Um, it was getting like, uh, how do you say, it was getting rusty. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> um, that's when you know it's time to get a new product. Um, and so yeah, that's how I function. Um, you know, because like, I don't know, you don't really think about razors on a day-to-day basis, do you, you know? But yeah, over here you can see my toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, and then some extra toothpaste because there were three in one, and then my sunscreen. I'm trying to put on a little bit more sunscreen um, because, you know, I would like to look this youthful as long as possible. <laughs> and over here is a cream that another one of my customers gave me. Yo, I've been, I've been spoiled today. I've been spoiled rotten my customers today. Um, like, my morning customer, uh, she gave me like bread and some like nice little like Korean sweet rice drink And then my other customer and then she gave me like coupon for um, haircut because she couldn't believe how Good quality <laughs> my service was for the price. So she was like, I should feel like I should be paying like I don't know double the amount but, like more than double She was like, oh, I can't believe it. So she gave me this amazing coupon. I'm probably gonna use it tomorrow when I go to cafe but yeah, <laughs> I'm very happy today, as you can see clearly. I colored my hair a couple days back. Uh, and then, you know, hairspray, I'm probably gonna use that tomorrow. And another thing that I'm happy about, I'm almost out of this um, body lotion, so I'm probably gonna use it up within this week, so this area would look even more clean. I can't wait to declutter my stuff, but as I said before, uh, although it's very tempting to declutter everything at once, like your products, I do try to use like consumable products. I, I do try to consume them before I declutter them and stuff like that, so yeah. 
Anyway, that is my bathroom tour. Let's move into my kitchen because I think my laundry is done. Oh, and down here you can see my yoga mat. <laughs> um, yeah. Sometimes a girl likes to do sit-ups, but I nowadays I like to do sit-ups uh, at the cafe because it's I mean uh, outdoors because it's I don't know much easier. And then there's this um, this little chair thing that holds my legs for me, so I can do like many many sit-ups. I can do about like light sit-ups about a hundred at a time. Isn't it incredible? Believe or not, believe or not. And here's my cabinet, and there's just a bunch of packaged rice. These are like what brown rice. My masks and these are seaweed and I like to snack on seaweed so that's that over here just some dishes that I haven't done I'm sad to say but they're probably sitting there for about a week now it's <laughs> so bad that's why I need you know what is it that guy says like I need a good woman who can like cook for me and clean my house like I need a good boy who can cook and clean and raise my children and have them too if they can but they can't so they better do more right <laughs> uh, down here just not much um this bag for dirty laundry that i bring and then laundry detergent and then dish soap nothing much and over here is my general trash area so you can see there's like paper trash and then toilet paper and some new shoes out i was actually i got out of these fancy shoes because um i had like a fancy occasion where i had to um wear nice shoes and uh I wore like nicer shoes to work today, so maybe that also added to my confidence. I don't know. You know, fashion is powerful, so uh, yeah. I don't know how long I would continue to have such little items as far as clothes go. Uh, it's also very tempting, guys. I swear, I tell you guys, uh, the house tour's over, by the way. So this is like, I guess you could say an outro. But on Friday, after teaching the classes, I actually. Uh, stopped by like a store to buy some clothes and I almost bought like just expensive like so many clothes and then I was like no 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 I really should put these back um, because you know like I said the business has been kind of like not good for for two working days and um, I don't know like I get paranoid even if I have like a one slow day but I think that's also like part of um, life right like you have to learn to be patient and uh, you have to like work with your nerves because you know it was just a slow day for no reason because today was completely fine um i made like double what i would make like on a like normal like not crazy busy weekend so that was incredible i did raise my prices at my salon which you know i i found myself kind of not getting excited to get up to go to work because i feel like i'm being undervalued uh and i'm the one who's setting my prices so i was like why am i doing this the whole point one of the main complaints I had in my life is like, okay, if I show up earlier than other people, if I leave later than other people, if I'm trying so hard to do a good job, why am I not getting paid enough? And I realized I'm also undervaluing myself because I'm too scared to ask for it. And then also I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just raise my prices. And uh, and when the customers came, like on purpose, on purpose, I didn't really explain to them why. I, I would just generally tell them, I was like, hey, by the way, we have new prices now. I raise prices and like literally like 90% of my regular customers they don't even question it anyway they're just like okay like that's it <laughs> and they're happy to pay you know and um, so yeah I think um, it's a very good lesson like I'm, I'm learning a lot um, yeah and that's the thing right like when I first started my business or before years before when I thought I've always wanted to have my own business but my idea of it was like I'll probably have to be like wake up earlier than everybody. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> but you know, I'd have to be like a super like powerful, like strong, like intense career woman. Uh, and then I would always have to be like learning and then, you know, conquering, blah, blah, blah. But it's really not like that. It's more like slow simmer, you know? Like, I don't know how to say it. It's more like every day you gotta like show up to work on time. And you gotta stay there even if you feel like uh no one's probably gonna come even today as i was getting ready to like kind of like sneak out a little bit earlier uh another customer walked in who was a very expensive one like she did like almost one third um she caused like almost one third of today's sales um and then she was like oh hey remember me and i was like uh yes your face but i do not really remember doing her hair and she told me she came by a couple days ago. I was like, oh, that's right. I had to turn her away because she came by when I was kind of busy. Uh, and then she was like, yeah, I've been meaning to come here. And then I did it and she was happy. And um, yeah, so anyway, what I'm saying is like, 
everything is a learning experience and not everything has to be dramatic and you know you guys you know me like I have a YouTube channel and I've always been full of joy and creative and you know maybe a little bit dramatic too sometimes um, but not about stalking and stuff like that I am dead sorry excuse my language I'm dead freaking serious about women's issues like there's no joke in my bone about that but I can be dramatic about other things sometimes um, you know be like oh no like how am I gonna like keep my business going like what must I do I must be like a social media guru but it's really not like that once you're in it it's more like you gotta show up to work on time. you gotta do the bare minimum like at the very least least you know and uh, every day, every interaction with customers, like they always teach you something and you don't even realize that you learned it until like there's a moment when you're doing things naturally and you're like, oh snap, like I'm behaving this way because of what happened last time, like, you know, months ago or weeks ago or something. So yeah, that's what I want to say. Like, I think um, anybody is capable of just fitting into a role. For instance, if you see yourself, say, as a professor, then if you're in this situation, you learn. You are a professor, you will learn and you'll fit in. If you see yourself as a business person, even though you don't have your own like business set up yet, if you see yourself as that uh, and you work for it, um, eventually you'll get there. So, you know, same thing with minimalism. Like, you, if you see yourself as a minimalist, uh, even if you have like, I don't know, like thousand times more belongings than I do, according to your standard, you might start your journey as a minimalist right now, right this second, right this moment. Even if you're in a hoarder's house, like then that's all your stuff. The second you believe I am a minimalist in my bones is when you can start becoming the minimalist. It's when you can start paying attention and naturally accepting the lessons and the cues and the clues that allow you to get closer to your goal of becoming a minimalist. Because in fact, you are. Because you believe you are and you're willing to learn and you're willing to work in that direction. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching this week's video. I'm really glad I could make this video and I'll catch you guys next week with more content.